Hello everyone, today I show you how to intercept network requests using Playwright with Python. We'll work through a code example that logs every request and intercepts a specific API call to return a fake response. This technique is perfect for testing and debugging without relying on live data. Let's jump in. This table highlights two different approaches to handling API responses. While one method involves fully simulating the API response, Intercepted requests let you monitor and dynamically modify live network calls. Today we're focusing on intercepted requests to see how we can log and alter specific requests in real time. Before we dive into coding, I want to mention that for this demonstration we'll be using the endpoint JSON placeholder. This is a sample API that returns user data and will intercept this request to return our own fake response. First, let's make imports. JSON for handling uh, JSON data. Uh, Playwright page for browser interaction. And uh, time to simulate delays in, in our interception. Next, I'll create a logging function that prints out every request method and URL. This will help us uh, see the network traffic during our test. So let's define log all requests with road and request print request request uh, typing is missing so let's add request here and here uh, much better Requ request method and request URL. Okay, road. Okay, same here. Let's add a road. road continue to continue processing on the request. Now I'll write the interception function. This function will wait a bit, check if the request URL matches our target endpoint, and if so, return a fake response. Define intercept placeholder API with road and request. So if, let's copy in the URL, JSON placeholder in request URL, then create a fake JSON response with fake user data. So let's define fake, uh, fake response. with with some random values inside. Let's say ID equals one, username equals fake username, and let's say email, fake email. Let's look that this request was intercepted. Print intercepted request dot URL and return the fake response um, with status code 200. So let's write route fulfill status 200 content type application json and body fake response otherwise uh, let the request proceed normally as road continue 
and let's add time sleep maybe three seconds uh, to simulate a delay to visibly see the interception in action so in this function after a short delay we check if the request url contains our specific endpoint uh, if it does we generate a fake response log the interception and fulfill the request with our custom data otherwise we we'll simply pass the request along now let's write the main test function so let's define test intercept json placeholder api with page now let's set up routing page route to lock uh, every single request let's use lock all requests and page page route with json placeholder url intercept placeholder api and now let's navigate to the api endpoint page go to json placeholder and uh, wait briefly to ensure the request is intercepted so let's write a page wait for timeout three seconds uh, at this point uh, we can check if it works so let's call pytest as headed Oh, some error occurred expected string got object oh, let's check that body fake response fake response equals json dumps is missing here let's try again and works so let's continue writing code and we'll do a comparison soon. Now let's get uh, pages in our text and load it uh, as JSON. So let's define API response text equals page evaluate document body inner text. and let's declare api response equals json loads api response text and now we can print fake api response equals api response uh maybe let's make time slip 10 seconds to observe the results and let's validate that intercepted response matches our expected fake data so let's write assert api response name username username equals fake username so this test function locks all requests intercepts a specific api call and validates the modified response after navigating to the endpoint we wait three seconds retrieve uh, the response from the page print it and finally assert that the intercepted response uh, contains a uh, fake username uh, let's run the test once again and compare intercepted response with original one so let's call pytest headed and i will open the original one we can see the response on network also and we will do the same for our fake response 
so let me add time sleep let's say five seconds just for open network tools as you can see everything is working as expected thank you